And so the battle begins. The battle against Void, who really is trying to copy Siggy in every single way. Ang Angry Man Fender Despair Reviewer, although I only reviewed in Zero, but even that is very slow. In chapter 265, which informs Shiki what Void is going to do. We see a nice side of her backside too. So we, uh, Shiki and Rebecca realize they must go back after him. Even though she uses her ether link and cat leaper, she, the cracks on her body gets a bit heavier. So, um, but at that moment, uh, Shiki actually uses warp hole to get back to the ship where sister is, and um, sees also that Pino is now awake. So, uh, so we sh so Shiki informs sister that uh, the command was to everyone to get off the ship, but uh, of course sister how many more rejects that because this is Siggy's ship, their ship, and his ship, meaning that uh, Hermie will stop it, and Shiki knew she would say that, so he is going to beat Void. He gets back to she to Rebecca for a more pull, of course, in a little bit more of an embarrassing position where with Rebecca no sorry with uh, with uh, well um, with Pino and Happy in tow oh and Shiki grabs uh, Rebecca's breast in that moment but uh, Shiki also makes sure to grab a sister drink from uh, the from when he uh, when he got back to the zero which is sister energy that actually helps her get free of the cracks meaning that um this is not permanent scratching of the markings when she is using the leaper, but rather she just needs to restore her ether. But Shiki also brought another drink, although this time it's Cosmo Energy, which is apparently, well, the Cosmo's hidden drink. This allows him to even uh, survive in the middle of the space, which Rebecca Lampshade I guess nothing should surprise me anymore. Which basically is implying uh, like, oh, that is such a, uh, well, what are you, what is that word? Convenient method. Of course, Shiki uh, enters out the space, sees Void, and so they clash as, uh, as their fists meet. Void acknowledges Shiki as baby Shiki. So... Uh, implying that uh, he doesn't even see Shiki as an individual. He only sees him as the future Siggy. And I mean, that's a complicated story. Yes, Shiki is Siggy, but at the same time, this Shiki is not Siggy. So it is complicated. But it is not complicated is that uh, Void himself appears to use gravity power too. Given the fact that his new uh, robot form is modeled after, um, well, you know, uh, uh, Siggy. I guess it's not so too surprising. What's more surprising, though, is as they are facing off against uh, space, Void says that this here will be the this destination, or will, will determine the ones who will perish, robot or humans. As it says in Mother's Grand Presence, we will let us determine whose kind will be the ones to perish. As the Eden Zero crew of Shiki, Pino, Happy, and Rebecca season not too far away on the throne, there she is, Mother. They have reached her. Void has reached her. The battle of fates of the kind has been decided indeed. Either Void win wins, he kills Mother and all humanity ends. Or Shiki wins, he destroys Void and stops this insan insanity. But that will not destroy machines. Unless, of course, Void is saying something else. Either way, it's a chapter with some fan service. As well as some, well, convenient methods. But now Void and Shiki have finally met. What awaits us next? We don't know. Give me your thoughts if you have any.